what's going on guys my name is Zeke and welcome back to another advanced warfare tips and tricks video now I've decided that I'll cover some weapon variants in my tips and tricks videos and in the first the first weapon is going to be the HBR A3 Insanity which is probably one of the best elite versions in the game uh, probably the second one after the obsidian steed but uh, yeah I've decided to cover this weapon now here's the image of the insanity stats and so as you can see it has plus one damage plus two fire rate a reduction one of hand link and you're not able to put any opticals on it and some attachments now that is kind of bad for some players because they might not like the iron sights of the weapon personally I kind of like them they're even good at some, uh, you know, at long gun fights, but a reflex side would have been better. But this is what we got here, and using a suppressor is kind of, you know, a personal uh, preference because some people may think that it becomes weaker with the suppressor. It actually does become weaker, but sometimes I just run with the suppressor. But yeah, so of course the perks guys are up to you. I'll leave a link of my HBR A3 best class setup video so that you can just uh, watch these two videos and benefit from them because it's the same weapon guys and it will be useful for you to watch that video first and come back to this one. But anyway, the HBR A3. Now, one thing you could go for is the extended clip. Now, uh, it has 30 bullets uh, you know, in the normal clip, but with the extended clip it becomes uh, 45 uh, bullets per clip. Now that is kind of good for taking out more people and being more aggressive, but if you would like to go for any other attachment, that it, it's up to you, but this is a really, really useful attachment. And the next attachment that I would like to go is for uh, stock. I pretty much use stock on all my assault rifles because uh, moving with uh, assault rifles in this game, you know, while aiming down the side is really, really slow. So I just can't stand it. That's why I use the stock. And the last attachment could be, you know, the suppressor or uh, the foregrip, as you can see. But you know, it's still up to you guys. Uh, you whatever you want to do with the score streaks, it's all up to you. But I'm just letting you know what are uh, the attachments that you can use and this is actually a DNA gameplay guys as you can see I just got the DNA bomb there and I'm calling it in a pretty good uh, gun gameplay that I got a couple of weeks ago so it's pretty old gameplay but still it is very good the weapon is very very good especially after the last buff that it got this weapon is kind of a laser beam weapon because it has pretty much no recoil guys at all Especially if you use the uh, suppressor, it's gonna have like minimal recoil, but without the suppressor, it might have a little bit more of recoil. But that's not a not a big trouble because the fire rate is faster, is increased, and the damage is increased. That means you're gonna take out people uh, just so so quickly, and it's gonna be a melting machine, guys. So yeah, this is the first weapon that covered my advanced warfare tips and tricks video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll leave a link uh, for the HBR A3 best class setup. I'll leave a link for the advanced warfare tips and tricks video playlist. And hopefully you guys enjoy. If you benefit from this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more, guys. Catch you guys later. Peace out.